All right, it's Jay today and Gwen tomorrow and I'm back with another adventure. So currently we're in Milwaukee today. Today is May 4th. May the 4th be with you, I guess. Uh, and it is 62 degrees out and it's roughly one or 102 and I'm hungry. So we're gonna go to a place called Solomon's. And the reason why we're going there is because if you type in uh, America's Biggest Bloody Mary, Crazy Bloody Mary, I think that they're one of the ones that show up on the list. Don't quote me on that. Again, I had saw that on a couple Google lists or whatever for theirs, and they got a pretty crazy Bloody Mary. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a whole chicken that they put in their Bloody Mary. So I figured we'd go there, check a hamburger out. Uh, do a review on a restaurant review and uh, bring you guys along so you guys can see this ridiculous Bloody Mary they have uh, And I'm all about that. I think that's kind of cool uh, So we got about six miles before we get there So let's go check it out Definitely kind of cool, so I'm stoked. I want to try one of their hamburgers. These little roundabouts they have here, I feel like are useless. They could have made them big. Well, I guess you can't really expand the road if you don't have much of a road. Um, make us hit all the potholes. <laughs> Get out of the way, little birdie. That white car back there to the right, that passenger side had the passenger side of the the rear passenger side of the car uh, has seen better days. <laughs> Flashy lights. Hubboat. Think this is where I'm turning? Yes. Got a yellow blinky light to turn to the left. I'm suspecting we're going all the way back to the highway, but I don't know. Going up to East Center Street.
winter in the school zone. So apparently the, the, well I use Waze all the time, but my car is smart enough now that like we'll be driving around and it'll tell you that you're entering into a school zone, which is really interesting because my the technology I had in my other car, which is a 2021, I didn't have that technology here. However, it has been wrong in some circumstances. So uh, it would say that we're entering a school zone in a place in Green Bay, and that is clearly not the, the case. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no school where we were driving. So, um, but yeah, I just figured I'd share that with you. That's why I was saying enter in a school zone. A green light, yeah. What is this person doing stopping in the middle of the road? So weird. <laughs> Don't even pull over, just stop right in the middle of the road. And there's parking spots like where they could have pulled over. Oh, okay, that's kind of nice that it actually rerouted me off of not taking that one road where they had a lot of construction. So basically we just got rerouted over here, which is nice, because uh, we're jumping back on 43, I believe, instead of having to go through that one lane of craziness. why you need to put your phone down like the light turned green for the other people and he like walked right in front of the car on a green light wow i mean if that guy wasn't paying attention in the car he could have ran him over that was kind of crazy oh my god look at the potholes pothole sentry everywhere gosh Do, 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 do. Okay, we're getting on the highway here. Entering the school zone. Must be one up there somewhere or something. I'm going to try to make it this green light, but we'll see. Uh, we're probably going to be on this, this road until we actually get further downtown um, because of all the construction over here off to the left. Which is fine. Out to 40. 
43. Okay, so we want to go, we want to turn. We want to go this way. It's weird because there's two bridges right there going separate ways uh, to the left. And um, that would be really confusing for me. <laughs> Let's get on 43. Dun, 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 dun. could have got in I guess I just uh, just wasn't paying attention and that happens when you don't pay attention gonna go this way for a second just to show you like look at that fog on um, there's a there's a tower right there on top you can see the the the, the bottom portion and then you can see the top portion that is so cool we'll drive down here for a second and then go back the other way have a green light why'd you let him go I guess that was being kind <laughs> so I think that it's the, the building is behind that fog right there. I can't really tell.
come on person see if we can get a better view of the fog cutting the building in half like I said you can see the top you see the bottom portion but you couldn't see the middle and I don't even know where the building's at anymore <laughs> so like I may not be finding that building <laughs> which one was it turn or are you going to stay in, our, in my lane? It's turning. That is pretty cool. Men at work, if you look all across the top up there, there's the fog. As we get closer and closer to Lake Michigan, the fog's coming off the lake and um, basically cutting the building in half, like where you can see some of the some of the building, and then not some of the other part portions of it. Looks like we got a green light. As it gets as we get further and further over here, it gets foggier and foggier, it looks like. Sixty degrees actually over here. When I thought that when we were further downtown it was like seventy-four. But now that we're getting closer to the lake shore, it's sixty. Thing that fog plays uh, because it's the the t water temperature still isn't like warm enough probably, which is why you're getting a lot of fog over here. But I'm not a weatherman. I don't know. I make assumptions and just think that that's what it what it is. <laughs> Got a steaming pothole cover. Oh yeah, it is foggy over here. So yeah, look at the towers here. You can't, like I said, you can see the bottom, but you, you can't see the top. All right, let's make our way back over to Solomon's.
thought somebody told me, but I'm not 100% sure. The little circle on that Hyatt Regency's hotel right there. I'm not sure if it's that building or if there's another one that actually turns. I don't remember. That was a while back, too. And maybe it might have not even been Milwaukee. Whoa. what happens when I don't pay attention I should be stopped well I'm, I made it to the line so that's cool um, so North 6th Street is what I want And there's two tunnels, uh, one coming in and then one going out. There's right there, and there's another one right there. Uh, and I'm suspecting they go over all those buildings that you see up top. Um, one of these, uh, some other day we'll we'll go and explore uh, one or one or both of them or something like that. Don't know if we'll make it to today to do that. I want Michigan. So if you take Wisconsin and go all the way down to a run by the Marquette University, um, we're not going there today, so... Street. Seems like this place is going to be like an industrial park or whatever because you're going underneath the bridge, if I remember correctly. I guess we'll find out, won't we? That's North 11th, we want 13th. St. Paul, there's construction stuff there. Can we actually even turn? 
Guess we'll find out when we get over here. Yeah, I guess you can. I didn't see a sign saying you couldn't. It's definitely weird. Unless that sign blew over. If that's the case, then Milwaukee needs to pick that sign back up. I mean, there's enough room here for two cars. I would think that it'd be okay, but what do I know? I don't live down here. <laughs> Thirty-five. Road to close to thorough traffic. They should really have a flagger here. This is kind of crazy. Flager. That's just ridiculous. And this guy's got to back out now so we can get around him. Got water running over there. Solomon's right there on the corner. That's where we're going. Kind of a steep driveway. Let's park here. All right, so we're at Solomon's. Let's go check it out. All right, Solomon's Pub and Grill, home of the famous Solomon's Burger. Let's go check it out. I really like how the structure of the building looks. So this is Solomon's. And again, I'll show you the Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary menu here shortly. Apparently they're known for their hamburgers. However, I've never eaten here, but I am getting a hamburger. Um, and then they have the back portion too, chicken sandwiches. I know it's really dark. I'm trying to see if you guys can see this. That is insane. What is that? A pork tenderloin. This is what Iowa's kind of known for in their pork tenderloin, so... Pork tenderloin today? No, 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 okay. no. Yeah. I mean, check that out. Look, the bun is like so small and the meat comes off the side. That is incre... That's crazy. Mm -hmm. 
And then this is the world famous Bloody Marys that they have here. So give me one second. I mean, this is insane. The Bloody Marys that you... And then they have the Chicken Beast one right here. That is a crazy one. The Chicken Beast Bloody Mary I'm getting. Feed in a while. Add the whole fried chicken to your, to your beast. So... So we'll film that when that one actually comes out, so... Alright, let's look to see what hamburger I want. A lot of them come with jalapenos and other peppers. I think I'm going to do the Solomon minus the diced jalapenos. That one sounds good. Let's do that. So apparently this is the Bloody Mary bar right here where they're actually making the Bloody Marys right here. Uh, you can see all this, this, the stuff they have for it. There's actually a couple over here that I already made. And they put in for the one that I already because it takes 30 minutes, that, the one that I ordered. So uh, that's very cool. I don't know which one that is, but look at that one right there. Now just imagine that. I want to get in the way or whatever. But the Bloody Mary that I got has a whole chicken breast on it. And it's pretty much America's craziest uh, Bloody Mary. Uh, so when that comes out, I'll show you guys. Again, so this is like... I want to give them space. I don't want to be back there messing around or anything. So, very cool. So, so I currently have the owner of Solomon's here on camera now. And uh, he's the one that came up with the, the Bloody Mary. The chicken, the full chicken breast, or full chicken inside the Bloody Mary. So tell my audience why you came up with that. Uh, so I'm the owner, I'm Dave Soberman. It's Soberman. 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 Yeah, Soberman. Oh, okay. So I've been slaughtering yeah. it the whole yeah, time. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, we've been in business 25 years last month. And when it comes to the Bloody Marys, I just, I thought to myself, locally. Oh, watch out. They got a Bloody Mary coming through right now. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna put the chicken in that one. Locally, oh, that's a chicken one too. Oh, yeah, he's wow. taking it upstairs. That's where they're, where they're frying the chicken. So locally, everybody got a, 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 a less than average Bloody Mary every you know six days a week. And on Sunday, you might have corner bars that would like you know juice up the, the Bloody Mary with the jumbo shrimp or whatever. They'd add some stuff to it. All right. And how I how, you know we became known as a Bloody Mary place. I thought to myself, why wait until Sunday? I'll do that stuff every day of the week. So I start, oh, wow. start putting in the jumbo shrimp, and I start I put in you know, whatever I can find. I go to the grocery stores, I go up and down the aisles looking for stuff. Eventually, within a few months, I realized that my next door neighbor here had a pickling plant. It's a fifth generation picklers right here. Okay. He, he recently retired, gave it to his um, three sons. And so I went next door and I started finding more stuff to put in the Bloody Mary. <laughs> but that's how it all started. And then once you, you know, once you start doing that, then Facebook comes around. And you start making, yep. making uh, ridiculous Bloody Marys for Facebook. Oh Not yeah. Not really th that I, yeah, thinking that I'd be selling these Bloody Marys. I mean, it started. It really started when I put a cheeseburger slider in the Bloody Mary <laughs> on a Saturday morning, <laughs> and I just did it. And I, and I posted it, and I said, "Hey, am I going too far?" <laughs> and uh, by the end of the day, I had a hundred likes and comments. I can't recall. It was way back. before we had iPhones. I had to run up <laughs> through the course of the day. I'm running upstairs looking at my laptop to see what, what kind of attention I'm getting. And by the end of the day, I go home. It's 9, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I'm not sure. I sat down on the dining room table and I said to my wife, I think we're on to something here. And we started putting the cheeseburger slider. That led to this, to that. But never did I think we'd really be putting chickens in it. <laughs> And how that came about, I had a waitress, Deb Deppel, she was shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond, and she found these big glass jars. Now, right now, we use a different jar. Oh, okay, right up there? Yeah, we use a different jar because the glass jars would break up, up under the weight of all of the, oh my uh, the juice and the, the chicken. But wow. She, she's at Bed Bath & Beyond, 
she buys this big. I might be. I might have the glass over there. Okay. And she says she brings it here and says, Dave, look at this. You can make a, you get a, big, a big Bloody Mary. And I said, you know what? That's a great idea. We'll, have, we'll call it the Bloody Beast. <laughs> so I did that. And we, it was like the idea was that a group, four or five people at a table would order this and they'd share it. A friend of mine who does my social media comes walking in here a couple of weeks later with a big chicken. And I said, what are you going to do with that? He says, well, I'm going to put this in, in the Bloody Mary. I said, no way. <laughs> so he does it, and I'm thinking, this is a big waste of time. Nobody's going to order this. But we do it. We put it out on Facebook. Could not believe it. I'm getting the amount of attention I got within the first couple of weeks. Oh, that's Calls awesome. From all over the world. A, a Japanese news outlet. Oh, the my Daily, God. The Daily Mail. I, mean, I, I never even heard of the Daily Mail out of England. <laughs> Um, and next thing you know, we're selling. One just went out right behind you. Oh, it went. It, oh, oh, there it goes. That have a chicken in it? Yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. And this is not the chicken one, right? It is. Oh, it is. Do you mind if I? So this is this is the one I just ordered. So that is insane. So wow. Insane. Got no brain. That is awesome. So I can't wait to get that one. So that is insane. <laughs> So, like, and I'm suspecting with all those news, like them reaching out to you and asking about your Bloody Marys, are you from, are you, you're aware of Travel Wisconsin? I've heard of it. So, when you type in, um, like, I think it was World or American's Biggest Bloody Mary, Travel Wisconsin's on that, that portal as you scroll down, and your restaurant is actually on there showing the big chicken in, inside that Bloody Mary. That is just phenomenal. Like, no, I'm known for chickens and Bloody Marys. <laughs> we make, we make, there are other Bloody Marys that are a little, I'm, I'm kind of more proud of. And, and they don't get the attention. I'm going to see what this guy's making here. But we have like our Baconado. It's like bacon wrapped jalapeno oh, cheese balls man. on a 10 inch skewer. Uh, they're so great. cool. It's, it's the number one appetizer, the uh, bacon wrapped jalapeno cheese burger. The bourbonado, it's uh, chunks of chicken wrapped in bacon, uh, smothered in a bourbon sauce. They, that comes in the Bloody Mary. Uh, our cheesehead oh, Bloody Mary. Which my we'll have to get back to that. Our cheesehead Bloody Mary, which my mother-in-law invented. Uh, oh, wow. We all pack our fans and the cheese head. <laughs> so she took this very unique cheese curd that we have, and uh, she put three of them on a skewer and called it the, um, that's when we had our, our Marquette location. So I've got some other Bloody Marys, but, I, but I'm really known worldwide for this uh, crazy over-the-top You are definitely, like I said. <laughs> Like yeah. I said, if you type in America's craziest Bloody Mary or Wisconsin for that matter, this place will come up with the crazy the chicken Bloody Mary, which, like I said, I ordered. I can't wait to, to see it, and then uh, I'm gonna give it away. I'm gonna buy it, and I'm gonna give it away. Somebody's gonna be lucky today, so um, I think that'd be kind of cool. And uh, I want to thank you uh, for. All right, man. Thank you. You know, this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we'll we'll see you shortly. So this is the hand. I just got some a fruit salad with this hamburger, but this is the hamburger here. This is supposed to be, like I, I can't wait. That looks so good. I had them hold back the diced jalapenos just because I I'm gonna be honest. When it comes to hot stuff, I'm kind of a pansy. Uh, so let's let's go and eat this and try this, and then uh, we'll go from there. Oh my god, that is so good. And then two of these. That is so good. Perfect, thank you. Look at that. Oh wow. This is definitely worth the drive down here to Milwaukee, guys, to get this hamburger. And I actually even forgot about the pickles. Is that this is glass, right? Yeah. 
So this is the original mug that they did it, but he said it would get so heavy that the handle would actually break on And me. literally, so we keep this back here for show. It needs to be clean. It's dusty <laughs> now, but we, we can't use them because literally a waitress was walking to the table. And the handle snaps? So these people waited 40 minutes for oh, the Oh, man. Because it takes that long to cook the chicken. Wow. And, and right as she gets to the table, it, and it might have been Diego, let me, but yeah. So we had to stop using these because it's this. So, so do you have, use a plastic one now? Or? Yeah. Okay. Oh, these, so these are the ones right now yeah, that you're currently yeah. using. Oh, okay. So you get a few ounces less, but it's not going to fall apart uh, a break in front of you. Wow. Diego. Yeah. That is insane. And that is pretty heavy. Wow. That's insane. So those are the new ones now because, again, he said that there was, it was so filled up with so much stuff that the handle would break off on it. That is so cool. Very cool. That cheeseburger I just had, too, uh, was really good. So, um, very good. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing uh, the Bloody Mary. So we already saw one picture of it, but I want to get up close. Uh, and then I'm going to give it away. So, uh, all right, guys. So this is that Bloody Mary. I figured I'd come back live for you. Look at a whole chicken. Wisconsin's craziest Bloody Mary. But uh, you type this in. Uh, this is amongst, I would say, probably the world. Again, a full chicken, a slider. I'm not sure what the top pieces are there. A bunch of pickles. Look at how big that Bloody Mary is. And again, he said that they, they had to actually switch to the plastic handles on it because the glass ones, the handles would actually break because there was so much weight. That is insane. And then it comes with fries, too. <laughs> well, that is insane. So There you guys go. Thank you. Good wow. luck with Wisconsin's all this, craziest all Bloody Mary. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna end this video here guys if you like the kind of content Please feel free to subscribe like share and with that I'll catch you guys on the next adventures here there And everywhere <laughs>